Hi, my name is Jane. I am an independent data visualization designer from Toronto. So this is Jane's design process where I talk about my process to make a physical product, which is a print product, incorporates data visualization to support handmade businesses growth. And so today's video is a little bit different from usual. I am going to show you this bin that I use to organize myself and keep myself productive. So when I do this project and I focus on it, I don't do it all the time. I usually spend maybe one or two days focusing on it. And um, during the time I'm not working on it, I have to keep myself organized. I have to put it away. So I store everything in a bin. And the reason why I use a bin is because it's very hard for me to keep track of everything in a folder. I use a lot of things that require a lot of 3D space. So when I use a bin, I can um, store it really quickly and also keep everything in one place instead of having everything scattered throughout my room. So when I usually start working, I start off with like a clean desk like this. And then within maybe like 20 minutes, it starts growing into something like this, which is a huge mess, right? And it's very, um, I can really, I can clean this up within five minutes and put everything in my bin. So this is why this is really important to me. I'll go through what the bin contains right now. So the top of what I have here, I have this sheet. These sheets are kind of like logs. They act as activity log. So every time I finish a session, I fill out this one of these sheets. And on the front, I actually just write a summary of what I've done and things I've learned, things I want to keep in mind for the next time I'm going to engage in this project. On the back, I show like uh, I write a to do list for the next time I'm about to engage in a session in design session, working session, whatever. I only invented this idea of keeping a list after, at the end of each session because it really helps me stay productive and it, I don't feel as intimidated to get back into it. So I work with a lot of loose leaf sheets of paper. I don't like putting everything in my notebook. I like having things scattered throughout so I can move things around and I can compare things. And what I have here are just a bunch of sheets and I actually just put a page number so that I remember the order I created them in and I can easily reference them if I need to. And for me, it just helps me, helps me kind of find more order in all of this chaos. I'm a heavy sticky note user, so I really, really like having them organized. What I tend to do is I like to stack them on top of each other and I like to clip them and put them together. And they can get a little crazy, so, and because they can get quite thick over time. What I found really helpful was putting them in the, this tofu tin that I reuse. So when I put it in there, it, it helps keep it all together and doesn't kind of scatter all over the place. For me, this is a really helpful way to organize them. Last but not least, I have a couple of board games that I just keep in here. I reference a lot of card sizes and board games. I really like to use them. And so once again, if I would just had a folder and I put everything in a folder, I wouldn't be able to store them with these board game pieces. I, it's kind of would be very scattered. And so this is what I really like about the system I have with my bin. Um, it, it helps me keep everything organized and it helps me see everything in one place. And it, it's also very easy for me to put things away and, and put them back into place when I need to use them. So this is something that I just came up with and I thought was really helpful. I mean, you know, a bin is a really cheap item to get. And for me, it's not, it, it makes it a lot easier for me to stay on track and productive and not procrastinate as, procrastinate as much. I think a lot of people have challenges with procrastination. And I don't because I have the system in place. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. Please subscribe, stay up to date, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.